Just like we have irregular past participles in English, like um, swam or drank or drunk or swum, you know, you, since one knows you're like, which one do I use? Um, they, we have those in French as well. Um, and these are the irregular past participles in French. The infinitive of voir, which means to have, is e as its past participle, to I had. So if I want to say, uh, yeah, I have had a test. I've had a test in this class, right? We, oui. uh, let me use J'ai eu un examen. I have had a test, right? Don't forget, you've still got to use your conjugation of avoir plus your past participle, okay? Right, because you have two things. And these are your irregular past participles that go with avoir. So if I want, now devoir is one of those interesting words. We don't really have a verb in English that says to must. We say you have to do it. But in French, you really kind of need to think about as to have to do, to, to must do, all right? So if I want to say um, we had to do our homework, right? We have musted or we have had to do uh, no devoir. And by the way, you have to do your homework, which is why devoir means homework, all right? <laughs> um, we been, été. Now, you remember me saying earlier, way long ago, hey, that's the same word for summer. It is the same word for summer. You just have to realize what context you're doing in it. So if I want to say, yeah, he has been to Paris. We, oui. il a été à Paris. He has been to Paris. If you spell it right. There we go. If I wanted to say, we have made a cake, right? Yes. Nous, uh, nous avons fait un gâteau. Or if I want to say we have done our homework. Nous avons fait nos devoirs. We have done our homework. Alright? This is we had to do our homework. Which is why we have done our homework. All right. Um, lu, read, right? I have read. A lot of people read in the lu, so that's one way to remember it. Um, so yes, I have read Les Mis. Uh, J'ai lu Les Misérables. It, what, it was a book before it was a movie. What am I wanting to say? Uh, put. Yes, I have put uh, the dog outside. Yeah, right? Uh, J'ai mis le chien à l'extérieur. I don't think I spelled that. There we go. Um, pu. Now, pouvoir means to have the ability. In English, we say can. But in French, it's to have the ability. And the reason you need to think of it as to have the ability is to help you remember it needs an infinitive after it when you're dealing with that. So yes, we have had the ability to uh, study. You know, I mean, because sometimes you don't. No, I had so much homework and I had all the stuff to do. I didn't have the opportunity to study. I couldn't study. This is, uh, so it's the same type of process. Yes, we had the ability. So we, um, hey, while you were in Paris, did you get to see, um, the Mona Lisa. Yes, we had the ability to see the Mona Lisa. So, oui, j'ai pu voir la Jacon. All right. Now, what about taken? Hey, have you uh, taken your test, right? Yes. This is I have had a test. I have taken a test. J'ai pris an examen. I have taken a test. Okay? Uh, hey, have you seen, have you seen The Great Gatsby? I actually have not seen The Great Gatsby. I really want to. So I would say non. Je n'ai pas vu the film 
Great Gatsby, right? Je n'ai pas vu Great Gatsby. And what about I have wanted? But I have wanted to see the Great Gatsby. J'ai voulu le Great Gatsby. Okay? So, these are your irregular past participles. And if you will notice, every single one of them has a conjugation of avoir. Right? And then every one of them utilizes an irregular past participle. E, du, été, fait, lu, mi, pu, pris, vu, voulu. Alright? So these are your irregular past participles that go with avoir. Bonne chance.